Okay, so a co-worker of mine asked me to uh, try to pull this lion out of the white background, and I'm going to show you the way that I would do it. And if you notice over here, you have your layers, your channels, and your paths. I'm going to choose channels right now, and I'm just going to select the blue channel because I know that that's probably going to be the, the uh, in instances that you use this, blue is going to be the one that you want to use. And I'm going to copy this blue channel uh, down here. I'm just going to drag it down and copy it to the new layer, which is right here. And notice you've got a blue copy now. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on the, hold the control key down on the keyboard and click on the thumbnail right here. And it's going to activate the, all the white areas in that image. So when you when you select something in channels, it selects all the light or white areas. I want to invert that, though. I don't want the white. I want to select the black. And it lives right up here under the select inverse. Or I always use the shortcut shift control I. So I click inverse. Notice the black now is chosen. So I'm going to go back now to the layers palette. And I want to rename this layer because it's not going to let me do anything until I rename it. So I'm going to just double click on the word background. I can either name it or just or just hit OK. Once I've done that, I'm going to go Control J to copy a new layer. And what it's doing is copying everything that was in Marching Ants or, or Dancing Ants. So notice if I turn this off, you see it right here. Uh, I want to make sure that that's selected again because now it's deselected. I'm going to click on the thumbnail, hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail to select the black again. I'm going to come over here to my brush tool and select the color that I want. And to select colors, I can just click on the swatch, pull up the swatch picker. I'll choose a blue. Come in here. We'll choose that blue for now. Click OK. And the really cool thing about this is it's only going to paint what is selected. So I'm going to make this brush large and just start to paint over this. And look at that. In a matter of 15 seconds, you can change what you had and, and make it all one color. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.